In this video we're going to take a quick look at finding the area of compound shapes. So what we mean by compound shapes are simply shapes that are irregular. They're not shapes that, um, that we know exactly how to find the area of. They're made up of other shapes if you like. So <clears throat> let's take a look at this one here and we'll find the area for this shape. Now what I could do is, what I can see is that I've got this kind of, I've got an L shape. Now I don't know any formula to calculate the area for an L shape, however I do know how to calculate the area for rectangles and what I can see is that essentially this shape is made up of two rectangles. So if I break this shape down into two rectangles that allows me to then find out the area of this shape and the area of this shape. Once I've worked out the area of both of the shapes, I can simply add them together. So, let's work out the area of this shape first. Well, that's just going to be 6, this length here, multiplied by 4, this length here. So I'm going to have um, 6 multiplied by 4. 6 multiplied by 4, and that's going to give me an area for this rectangle here of 24 and because it's area 2d centimeters squared then what I can look at is this shape here now I need to figure out the area for this part now am I going to do 9 centimeters times 4 that doesn't make a lot of sense to me because 9 centimeters is this entire distance from here this point here to this point here I only need from this point. So it's not going to be 9 centimeters. So I'd basically I need to figure out what this length here is. What is the distance from this point here to this point here? Well if this length here is 4 centimeters and this entire length, so that means that that length there is 4 centimeters, this entire length is 9 centimeters. So what must this bit here be? It must be 5 centimeters. 4 centimeters plus the 5 centimeters gives us the 9 centimeters. So now working out the area of this rectangle, I would do 5 multiplied by 4, and that gives us an answer of 20 centimeters squared. So what would the total area of the shape be? Well, it would simply be the areas added together 24 centimeters squared plus 20 centimetres squared is going to give us a total of 44 centimetres squared. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Again, we've got this irregular shape. It's made up of different shapes. And what we need to do is we need to break it down into shapes so that we can calculate the area of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off this rect this triangle at the bottom there. What that leaves me with, that leaves me with a triangle and a rectangle. Let's start off by calculating the area of the rectangle, this bit here. So I've got 10 centimeters and this bit here is 3 centimeters. So the area for that rectangle is simply going to be 10 times 3. And that gives me an answer of 30 centimeters squared. Now I need to then work out the area of this triangle. Again I'm, I'm at a bit of a loss here because I haven't actually got how big this triangle is. I know that the length from this point here up to the top here is 8 centimeters in total. I also know that the distance from here to here is 10 centimeters. I know that this bit here from there to there is 3 and I know that the distance from this bit here to that bit there is 6 but I don't know at the moment what the distance from this point here to this point here is or the distance from this point here up to this point here however I can work those things out now if this distance from here to here is 3 centimeters that means that the distance on the other side is also 
going to be three centimeters. So if the total distance from there to there is eight, but the distance just from there to there is three, then that means that that bit there is going to be three. This bit here must be five to make it up to eight. So that bit there is going to be five. Then looking at this bit here, the distance from this point to this point is 10. The distance from this point to this point is six. That means that the distance then between this point here and this point here has to be four centimeters. So all we now need to do is calculate the area of this triangle. The way that we're going to do that is we're going to take the base, 4, times by the height, 5, and then divide it by 2. So 4 times 5 divided by 2, 4 times 5 gives me 20, divided by 2 gives me 10 centimetres squared. So the area of this rectangle is 30 centimetres squared. The area for the triangle was 10 centimetres squared. So the area for the shape in total would be 30 centimetres squared plus 10 centimetres squared. And so in total that would give me 40 centimetres squared.